Friends who are here, thank you for coming. And we believe that the Lord is going to do us good. It is a time for spiritual lunch. We are going to Today we are going to talk about the business the, or the aftermath of crossing Jordan. Era tuachwa dom tuwe across Jordan business. Era has a theme across Jordan business. Atusabe. Let us pray. Tukwe yanzu zanyo moyo wa mukama. Holy Spirit, we thank you so much. Thank you for always hovering over us. We thank you for always joining our hearts together with our friends wherever they are. As this ministry, O oh Lord, we have gone through a number of challenges. But when you sent us the theme of Jordan, we understood the spiritual environment in which we are as a ministry. It is a time of trials. It is a time of determination. It is a place of guarding ourselves and we move. And it is a place of us exhibiting humility. It is a place of us understanding to how to follow the voice as God gives it to us. A place where we have to learn the discipline of reading the word of God. Because what is ahead of us is large. And a lot for us to mount to. Lord, I pray that even this week, help us that we may partake your business in the name of our Lord Jesus. And the saints say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. I want us to begin with Luke 2, verse 49. This was Jesus Christ. He had a statement. He had a statement. Kingdom business. Who made this statement that I want to talk about that is called Kingdom business? Luke 2, verse 49. Bible government and he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Nabagamba anti muno nyezachi, temwa manyati chingwani de okubeda mubigambo biach tange. But businessmen mu naba to dewano. Abantu bo naba kola business who are seated here. Namu abali yok radio. And even you who are on the radio. Namu abali mumawanga. And even you in the nations. Ba younger investors namu abalu dem. The younger investors and the old investors. Jagala bagamant katonda kola. I want to tell you that God is still working even up to today. John chapter 5 verse 17 ascertains this word. But Jesus answered them, My father has been working until now and I have been working. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, there is something spiritual which we are in. If your eyes see, whereby even your spiritual antennas can still receive the heavenly signal, when you're not perverted and you don't have any confusion in the spirit, as a ministry, there is a place we are at called Jordan. It is a place. 
Kalikeo ibigambe byogera musiyo moyo it has spiritual words that keep speaking ibigambo byawo bikoma ku bantu se chinomu ne family zabwe those words from jordan can touch their individual peoples and their families egwanga lyonna nalyo likome bwako kuita mu chifecho and even a whole nation can be impacted through that place kale no rwecho ngo buwereza so therefore as a ministry it is very important for you to pay attention and we got a message that was encouraging us to cross and pastors have been talking here and they have been revealing mysteries about Jordan whereby almost all people in the Bible that are vital passed this place in the history of the church many miracles that were performed have an attachment to this place statement last time pastor sakira made a statement that said that even salvation was birthed from this place when john the baptist was baptizing jesus David passed by. And even the generation of Noah, of Abraham and Lot, Lot first crossed Jordan, and the other side is where you can find Sodom and Gomorrah. So as a ministry, the Holy Spirit wants us to cross. But the question is, why does God want us to cross? And you as a person seated there, and even you listen, and even you following, have you thought of what God requires us to do after crossing over? We have a number of things that we need to do. First of all, we have mockers whom we need to bypass. For them, they are ever saying, You will never do it, it is impossible for you. For them, they look at us in the goggles, in the specs of being failures. And it is you to believe God for you to exhibit courage and you stand with the strength and you cross over that place and as I speak these words there is someone God is clothing to overcome and as I speak these words there is a person God is giving an idea that you may cross over with that idea Brethren, as I speak this, there is someone God is giving an idea that you may be courageous and you may overcome. Join me as we make this prayer. Say, Oh Jesus, this is my generation. And I have to cross over. And Lord, I pray for your, your spirit to help me that I cross over. And I pray to the Holy Spirit to help me to fulfill the will of God in the name of Jesus. May God fulfill those words unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Today, I want us to put the emphasis on the word called capacity building. Capacity building. 
where we are going. We have a job and a work to do. In this year 2022, God wants us to do something. But when we are first understood, we have to build what we call capacity. I'll give you an example. In case you ask God to give you a business, and they tell you that there is an opportunity, brethren. We want chicken. We want 500 birds every day, chicken. Tulina hotels, hotels, restaurants, we have restaurants and hotels seven in number. We have restaurants and hotels seven in number. And they tell you that we want to give you a three years contract whereby you supply daily. And now if we are to calculate that a year has 365 years. contract and now you get into that contract whereby you are supposed to supply 500 birds daily. Sit down and think. For you to be able to supply without breaking. Where would you have raised that chicken from? So that is what we call building capacity. In the spiritual world, the heavens are requiring us to build our capacity. And even our finances require capacity building. Even this ministry of the inner man requires to, is required to build capacity. Oh, Oh. The moment you get into the contract, the 2,000 birds that you have railed, they will be done in one week. And you go to the neighbor. And you will even take away the neighbor. Before you finish the month, the contract will be crossed. And that is the problem Uganda has been experiencing. They come and they see the world market of coffee. Uh, a market of overkedo. And yet they have not built or prepared how they will be manufacturing it. So the spirit of God is calling us that as we cross over this year there are some things we need to think about that as we go into capacity building let us first think about the word called growth. Friends, people who move with God go into growth. Even marriage grows. In the early years, the first three years of marriage, there can be ups and downs. But but the moment you start learning yourselves, you start to Bond because you know that what you expected is not what you have found, then you get firm. Go with me in the book of Luke, chapter 2, and we start with our master Jesus. We are going to read 40 up to 42. Bible Gambia, Luke 2, verse 40. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Awomana nakula, na yongirwa kamani, na juziwa amagezi, echisacha katonda, nechiba angakuye. 41. His parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. Awabakadebe, bagendange yelusale, mibulimuaka, kumbage yoku itako. 
And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. Hallelujah. To go to Gende, to 51 and 52. Let us jump and go to 51 and 52. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth, to Nazareth, and he was subject to them, but his mother kept all these things in her heart. Nasirengeta nabo, naja, in Nazareth, in Abagondiranga, Nina, ne ye kum, ebi gambo, ebi yona, mumutimagwe. 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and men. Our Number one aspect in Katuna Zimba capacity. The first thing, if we are to build capacity, let us pay much emphasis on growth. You, you find preachers preaching and you can gauge and say that is an upcoming preacher. As this ministry, we have a vision. There is something we want to reach. Is to see that a person in this ministry grows to the full stature of Christ. That way we need to grow in our spiritual arenas. Be brethren, before we get hold of money, and before we build a number of flats, even before you get married, first of all, you need to grow. We have seen our example of Jesus. He came with a mission here on earth. Mission And the mission was to bring peace upon the earth. Because in the garden, in Genesis chapter 3, when Adam was deceived by the serpent, a curse came and was put upon the earth. And the earth was cursed. And death came in. The relationship between God and man was broken. And from that time until when Jesus came, there was a need to rebuild the relationship. And when now Jesus was born, the angels start to sing. And they say, peace has come upon the earth. Joy, peace, and grace has come upon the earth. Because the Savior has been born. Jesus was to fulfill this mission when he was dying on the cross. And he was to take his blood, put it in the heavenly tabernacle. Now, before he was to do it, he was prepared the body. And he started the journey called growth. The scriptures have shown us that he grew in stature. Meaning that his parents cared so much to feed him and also to nourish him and to care for his health. But also the have the spiritual reign. The Bible says that he increased in wisdom and he increased in grace now that one was a result of him getting favor before God and before people and we all need this you need to grow expansion physical you need a physical expansion and here in this ministry we tell you that, that we need to balance the physical and the spiritual when we talk about wealth we talk about spiritual wealth and physical wealth we shall require to have 
physical investors and spiritual investors. So you need a certain kind of wisdom. You need a certain kind of knowledge. There are some things that you need to forsake. In 1 Corinthians 13, 11, we are going to see Paul walking in his journey. There is certain counsel that he gives to us. Paul talks about his state when he was still young. This is what he says. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. When I was muto, na yogera ngango muto, na tegera ngango muto, na loza ngango muto. When nakula, nendeke biyo muto. Murugendo rafu ano kunsi. In our journey here on earth, there is a stage where they will not blame you. There is a stage where they will not blame you. Jema ita stage yoyo muto. That is the stage of being a young child. Nina chipe bichi ang. I have my own child. But she does things. And we just laugh. She can be eating. And she susus. A baby. And for her, she comes without minding. When you're dressed going for service. And she wants attention to be carried. One day I felt a certain challenge and I asked God to give me a training. That day we had partaken fish and it was a bit smelly. So they were feeding this baby properly. And they had smashed the food properly. So she could get hold of the food, eat, and even smear on the lips. So when I think she looked around, Sense has told her to go to daddy. So this baby moved quickly and crawled quickly and touched me. And in me, my heart was a bit frightened. And yet again, the heart was saying, this is your child. You have to show them love and welcome them. So I put on a smile. So I wanted to lift her in a such a way that she doesn't grab me. So she embraced me and they could not, there was nothing I could do but we became one. But I had pity on her. I just left her and ignored her. Because that is the state that is what's expected of that state. So I want you to imagine your child who is in senior one when they have brought a, a plate and they brought Open their zip. And they, they susu in that plate. What do you do to that one? Ah, the other one has signaled that. Now what if it is daddy? The father of the children. Brings out a plate. And, and zip. And titrates. What do you do? What do so what if it is a, a, a young baby and they go and susu in the plate what do you do you just carry them so I want you to imagine the journey of life. It is the same person. But when they are still at the young stage, there is some things they do and they don't blame them. But when they are now youth and they do the same thing, they can now, what if, if an adult does the same, that person is removed from the community and taken into a mental referral hospital. So, brethren, the time of being a young 
person is not forever. Being young in business is not forever. Being young in marriage does not last forever. Likewise, even being young in ministry does not last forever. Even politically, as a nation, we shall not be young forever. So it is a time for us to chew and chew and eat and grow such that things grow. Every stage has its own diet. There are some people where by in your businesses it is the losses that you make that will help you grow. Whereby if you ever repeat the same you will be charged. There are some mistakes that are tolerable in ministry. But when you do it at a certain stage, you'll be like Lucifer who sinned in their position and could not be contained. So, brethren, it is a time for us to mature up. There is a place where we are going. There is our destination somewhere. Whereby we need a certain kind of wisdom. Whereby we need certain knowledge. Whereby we need to eat liberation. In the name of Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. Even when it reaches the area of ministry, all the people that we admire who are good, they never began like that. There are people who preach and you say, I never wish to listen to them again. Pastor Bugembe has his old songs that he sang way, way back. There is a song he sang. And he said that these children of mine care so much for me. That they are bought for me even a mosquito net that I should sleep therein. By then I think he had not yet accumulated a lot of wealth. Praise be to God. Because I think today you may even take a mosquito net and it will not reach to him. Yes, no, I just think. And he told them, you people, the way you are, why is a king? When I was on the streets, who brought for me a mosquito net? And he asked them, where were you by the time I started singing and people were just dozing? But if you want to ascertain that things get value, Today, if you are inviting an artist, Pastor Bugembe, you have to go through a manager. And then you will see the bill they can give you. The one who used to sing while people were dozing. Today, it is the manager who tells him that this person has fulfilled our requirements. You can go. So brethren, we need to build value upon everything that we have. So as a ministry, we are also building our value. When we see that we are in the international community, people know what they expect of UCC. So that is also calls to be developed. It has to be kept. And it has to stay while it is life giving. Praise be to Jesus. Paul. Paul in Galatians chapter 1. We see Paul narrating to us his journey. How he became a minister. 
And what did he do after he got his calling? Galatians chapter 1 verse 11. The Bible says, But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by men is not according to man. Sorry. The, the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. Kubanga ambatege zabo luganda anti. Enjiri e yabuli ruanze si abantu. For I neither received it from a man nor was I taught it but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Kubanga nange saji wewa muntu so sai girizi wanga wabula mkubikuli wakwa Yesu Christo. For you have heard of my former conduct in Judaism how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. Kubanga mwangu liranga wenawanga edda mumpisa eze chiudaya nga naiga nyanga e kanisa e ya katonda e watali chigera na ye 14 and I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers Nempitiranga mukanisa e ye chiudaya okusinga abanji Tula, fe. 15. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately confer with the flesh and blood. Na yewe katonda we ya sima e yanja ulokuva mulubuto lwa mange na ampita olwechi sache oku Buli ranga omwana we munze. Ndioke mbabuli renga mawanga amangu ago satesa na mubiri wadde na musai. Paulo wa wande kiraba galatia. By the time Paul wrote the galatia. Yalia inechi kachia value mungiri. He had a certain value in his gospel. That people were listening to when Paul was speaking. So he was trying to explain to them how he got what he has and where did he copy it from. And he told them, brethren, it has taken me time to prepare myself. This that I have is a revelation from our Lord Jesus. And now verse 18 says, Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and remained with him 15 days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James and the Lord's brother. Na ye sala wa mulala kubatume wabula yakobo muganda wa mukama wafi. Genaku chapter 2 verse 1. Then after 14 years I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and also took Titus with me. Aoluva nyume miaka wejai itawoku minena na linye Yerusalemi wamune balunaba ne tuwala ne tito. Mikuwa ano jange? Njagala kubagamba. Friends, I want to tell you there is something that God is releasing unto us. But it requires us to prepare. There is a lesson I learned in life. And I learned it in a bad way. And I learned it amidst pain. And I will never forget it. I learned it that whenever God is preparing to introduce you somewhere but when you yourself have not prepared yourself whereby your time has reached but when you've not prepared your heart what comes next is an accident. People welcome you with gladness. But you know a bad kind of colliding. Friends, 
You will always have that confusion, that accident, whenever God has prepared to introduce you somewhere when you are unprepared. God has prepared that he introduces us to people. God has prepared to connect us with organizations. God has a plan to introduce to us to responsible people. God has prepared and planned to introduce you to various ranks. But there is nothing as a shaming for you to be introduced whereby you are not prepared character-wise. There is nothing as shameful as God giving you the anointing to change a whole nation and yet a nozzle of food brings you down. There is nothing as shameful as God giving you power and anointing whereby everyone sees that God has anointed you. But because of unpreparedness within, inside you, you go and score your own self. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. The heavens are demanding preparations from us. As we prepare ourselves, write this too. Get the big, the big picture. The bigger picture. Get the bigger picture. Get the bigger picture. Look at the big picture because where we are going, a revelation and vision is needed. Habakkuk 2.2 says, weave and put your vision on the tablets that whoever sees it runs with it. Friends, the season in which we are requires us to stop asking for daily food. Lord, give me daily food. Right? How I wish you can help me pay today's rent. The heavens are demanding us to do something as we look at the bigger picture of the kingdom. Friends, we have been called in the kingdom. There are some of the people listening to us. Whereby whereby the heavens require you to have a vision for the whole nation not just the village where you reside in Psalms chapter 2 the Bible commands us to ask for nations the Bible says that ask of nations of me and I will give them to you for an inheritance. Psalms 2 verse 8 Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. The heavens are looking out for men who are ready when they have built their capacity that is going to sustain what is called the bigger picture. Friends, heavens have a bigger business that it wants that the brethren take it on. Whereby this business will benefit many more other brethren. It is a time for us to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. When Joshua was going to cross Jordan, he was fulfilling one of the purposes that God had beforehand. In Genesis chapter 15, the Lord met Abraham and he covenanted with him and he told him your offspring will be aliens to a foreign land let's read 
Let us go to Genesis chapter 15. And I want us to read um, verse 13. Then he said to Abraham, No certainly your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs. And we will serve them and they will afflict them for 400 years. Tegele na dalanti ya zaderi oliri bagenye Monsi etali ye yabwe Elabali jiweleza Elabali bonyabo nyezebwa Emiaka bina And also the nation whom they serve I will judge afterward They shall come out with great possessions Elane guangeli Olivali weleza Nidi salido musango Nibali okabavamu Ngabali na ebi intubi inji Fifteen Now as for you you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at a good old age. Na yegwe, olikenda, wali wajajia omu mirembe, olizi ikibwa, wali mala okuangula obulunji. But in the fourth generation, they shall return here. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. Na yemu mirembo guo kuna, bali koma wona te, wano. Kubanga, obutalibu tukilivu waba amori, tebuna tukilira. Seventeen. And it came to pass, when the sun went down and it was dark, that behold, there appeared a smoking oven and a burning torch that passed between those pieces. On the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Awo, enjuba wa yamalo okugwa, echizikiza nga chikute laba, echikomi, echinyoka, no mumuli ogwaka, nebita wakati awali ebintu ebyo. To your descendants I have given this land from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates to the Kenites, the Kenzites, the Kadonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Raphaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Jigashites, and the Jebusites. Nga yogeranti, ezade liyo, ni wade ensenu, okuva kumuga ogwe misiri, okutuka kumuga omunene, omuga flati, omu keni, nomu kenizi, nomu kadunomi, nomu kiti, nomu peluzi, nabalefa, nomu mori, nomu kanani, nomu giluyazi. No yebusi. Amina. This is what I'm trying to say. That whatever Joshua was doing, there was what we call a grand plan. Way back with Abraham. It is God who set the children of Israel to go to Egypt. And he wanted to manifest his goldiness unto the World. And, and he said that that world, that, that nation that will afflict you, I'll judge. Our friends for frogs to come to Egypt, it was planned. For darkness to come in Egypt, it was planned. For fleas to come to Egypt, it was planned. And for the firstborns to die, it was planned. Even walking from Egypt to Canaan, it was planned. So meaning that even crossing Jordan was planned. Because they came from this side when they were slaves. Yet they had places they were going to occupy and eat. And they walked when they are fame of what God had done for them was following them. I want you brethren to lift up your focus. Those of you in Uganda and abroad. Look at the bigger picture. There is something God is building that is called a kingdom. God is building a certain kingdom and you are one of the builders of that kingdom. There are some places where you need to displace the descendants and occupy them. You need a heart of a hero. 
Weta gaka tima katali kana kaka wobu kami. Weta gomu timo gomu tuwa yenganga. Risk taker. You don't need a heart of people who just only cry, but you need a heart of risk takers. It is time for crying to stop and you go and offer out what you need and you even help others to survive. They could not overtake these nations when they are just laughing. God has called you and your business to expand, but it will not happen. Your territories will not happen to expand when you've not put a certain fight. It is time for us to extend the battle in prayer. Listen to this. Uh, a little slam cause the Israelites to extend their stay of 30 years which they was not planned by God. The scriptures say that they were supposed to be released after 400 years. But it shows properly that 430 years first got finished. So that taking long to wake up. The heavens told you that buy that place. Buy so and so shop. Go and look for enough capital and buy it. And you're saying, let them first build for me. If you fail to buy it when the place is still empty, will you buy it when they are built storage buildings? Whenever you take longer, Things become harder. It is time for us to wake up and walk on the target and the plan that the heavens put for us. I will rise up in the name of Jesus. I declare that I will rise up in the name of Jesus. Let someone say that this is my season. My time is now. My time is now. It is possible. It is possible. This is the season when we are supposed to do our to It is the season when we are building our capacity. This is the season when we are expanding our finances. Some of you, it, you've already but had it up on your heart. that you take your children to school, but you are there making excuses. That money will not be enough. Money will not be available. There, is, there are some things that will not come not until you get your food and step into Jordan. Write this somewhere. God provides for need. The one who provides for those who have billions is the one who provides for you who has one thousand. And also write this. God fills up every vessel that you bring to him. When you bring just a cup, it can be filled. It is like when you go to Lake Victoria. Some take drums. Some take water vessels. And for you, you take a pen of a lid of a pen. All of you will draw water to capacity. So the need that you present before God will be met. Because Philippians 419 The Bible says that God will supply your needs according to his riches in glory. I feel a voice and hear a voice that says the voice in Isaiah it says that expand your territory expand your tents it is time to break camp and expand 
Brethren, this is the time. Do not be a, gazia, a, gazia, gazia, gazia. But expand and expand and expand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to wind up with this. That as you get the big picture. God wants you to know that the world has pillars. These words were spoken by Khan, by Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 2. Eh, chapter 2 verse 8. Chapter 2 verse 8. I want us to read these words as we believe God that God will do it upon your life. Listen to verse 8. He raises the poor from the dust and he lifts the beggar from the ash heap to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Brethren, there are some people God is lifting. You may not understand it, but God is lifting some people. They are those who are weak. God is lifting you to become a strong person. There is one who was a beggar. God is lifting you to become a provider. There was one who was being despised. God is lifting you to become a glorious person. Brethren, there is someone who was living somewhere where there was no hope. A place of dust being. But imagine where God is taking you. God is taking you from a place of being a slave. And he's taking you to a throne. A throne of glory. A throne is occupied by kings. Akutuala from slavedom into a kingdom. Katonda akutja mubudu okukutu alo kubero mulangira mubuaka waka. Omoyo wa mukama ajina guachi korera. Mubisawe yenja uro. Mulinya ya yesu. In the different areas. Come on build the capacity. Wete keteke. Teri chivinga somero kura. There is nothing as bad as a school growing. Ngaba some sabari o tebete keka whereby its teachers were not prepared. You were used to 200 pupils. But in one year you get 1,000. And all the classes are filled to capacity. And you have nowhere to reside there. And you even don't know where you get teachers from. Everyone becomes overwhelmed. If you don't build the capacity, you are going to become overwhelmed and break. Now I that you will not give up. The Holy Spirit will help you. Let us finish this scripture. For the pillars of the earth are Lord's. And he has set the world upon them. I want us to think The here. world is on pillars. The bigger dream. To you who have the bigger dream from God. Those of you who are looking at the bigger picture. Understand this. The world rests on pillars. And if you want to touch the world. Touch these pillars. Avoid these pillars. You will not touch the world. Yet when God is releasing us. He wants us to have influence over the world. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people seated here. Even those 
watching us. Whereby the world has waited for the day when you will be able to influence your society. The truth is you have a calling. But because you do have not yet exempted this influence even when you speak no one wants to listen. Even when you record no one wants to follow. There is nothing that can count from you. But this is what I want you to listen. It's the heavens that picked on you. It is the heavens that prepare you. Come and you be prepared. That you may be released when you have a substance. Nation will run to you seeking for what God has given you. Someone say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I wrote down a few things. In all the area, in, in any area in which you will go out, please try to influence them. Number one, the relationship between you and God. That one will help you to overcome all. God is the creator of heavens and all its fullness. Psalms 24, that's what it says. First get saved. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Matayo mukaga satu musatu. The Bible says seek first the kingdom of God. Bible ye gamant muno nye o wakabaka wakatonda. Musoke kuno nyo wakabaka wakatonda. And his righteousness. No butu kirivubu. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Nabine visigade vyo nabi nabu ongeru wanga ko. Soko no nyo wakabaka. So first seek for the kingdom. Soko zimbe nkoragana yo ne mukama. First build your relationship with Ebi God. Ebi ntu That if even when things worth come, you will not oh, die. And even when worth come, you will be immunized and you will not get fat. You will be rich but when you are entering heaven. When you have your relationship with God. Secondly, economy. Stock finances. Sente. Reverend, finances are real. Finances control a number of things, even spiritual. Finances reveal what someone is. More than 2,000 verses in the Bible talk about money, prosperity. And one of the things that we use to overcome the world is called money. In one of the days, in, way, in the last days, there will be a ruler who will take away buying and selling not until you get his license after bowing down to Satan. There are people whom your gospel will not reach to until you inject in money. Chiruma, eriata genda kubalanga ategera, okutu sanga maze kubalila mururimiru wa sente. It is unfortunate that there are some people who will not count you worthy, not until they value you in terms of money. Katiaboru ganda nechisawe cha sente te mchireka. So brethren, even the field of money should not be ignored. Mwabali ewewe chaba tuwaleyo wa demubu ulire njiri, teyari njiri mwagenda kuno na sente. Anto, 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 those of you are abroad, it is not that you went to preach the gospel, but you went to seek for money. So let us prepare and even have money. Money has authority. When someone gives you a job, he's the one who determines which time you arrive at his work. People are honored sometimes because of the money they have. And even now it has come to the church. For you to stand before people before people even see the spirit you have something has changed in a dramatic way. Church, church. let us rise up Today to be radical. That we go back and be radical. That we look for money not in the way of lasting over it but as a tool. 
Tomorrow I will begin from there. Let us pray. Katondo mu yinza we bintu byonna. Tukwebaza kubanga oli mukutusomosa. Nega yirira kuluwa bakazi na abasajja boli mukusomosa. Nga kasera ka kwetegeka, kasera ka kusoma, kasera ka kugaziwa, mubuwereza, mu moyo, mu maka, mu mugwanga Munsi buli muntu yenna wali wa kasera ko oli mukutuso mosa ne tuyambe tuweteke teke tuyambe tu building capacity boy so much sawe che byo muoyo leka tuwetegeke ngade tuononera abantu bisera byabwe omuntu okutula awonga uliriza gwe ne na atafuna mu cha jemu ya dechiri so moyo gwe ya dechi mu chusa ya dechi mu resa yo bubi kwega irira ayikatonda tuyambe nyambo kweteka teka kwega irira mukama manyo gude wo ruji olwe mirimu eminene ejigendo okolwa mu nyumba mu bana be nyumba Mubana bobu wakabaka, mkwe gairira, leka tuimirire, leka tulabeche sa, leka tuangule, leka tubotole, leka tubotole, leka tubotole. Nsabiro mukazi, nsabiro musajja, amanyi gakatonda gaitu wa manji, gamo yambi. Mulinye risinga manyagona, elia kristo yesu, mwana gakatonda omramu. Amen. 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 Mukama bawo mkisa. May God bless you. Kambaze wakate etabonu laini. Mwaso wezi dwebi buzo. Amina, amina. Chisache goretha agamba. My spirit moves a lot when I'm asleep. But I always forget the dreams. At sometimes they are half. I need some help musuomba. Chite chibuzo wechiri. Mwacha agamba my spirit moves a lot. Nange simanyi. Katisimanyo wacha ita spirit che spirit. Mbabu yera vanga atambula ina aloza anti spirit ya itambula. Katisimanyo wuru mwanyi nafu spirit wa jiraba dinga itambula. Koretia. Na yoba ugama anti ufune ebiroto ngo ugenda mbifo binji. Nuhuza alota alota nye bifo binji binji. Na yate nga tebigwa yubi alota. Nchokora saba. Katonda agenda kuya mbeni na angeka mkisabiri. Ye goreti. Chitange nsabira goreti oyo mulinyali ya mkama. Ebiroto vebi gweyo, nechilala. Ategele vya alota, lecho kusatu. Aweko wa concentrate inga, mulinyali ya yesu. Amina. Anabuza, praise God musumba. How are you doing? And we love you. And we thank God for you and he. Johnny 14, 16, siku tegedi. Anabuza ako. Gambia, praise God. My question is, how are you doing? And we love you so much. Thank God for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Nangu wa ma webali nyo. Webali kunja karagwe sebo kueleza yo karavu meseji sawe. Nantu memori ni abuza. Why do why doesn't women cover their heads yet? First Corinthians 11 10 says that we should cover our heads for so, the angels. So, I have one go and you know, what will be moving. I will get one gang of you to attack one one. Maybe maybe you'll get one of the universe. But the way and song that you are society. Sit it again. Them single but do be a more you are for for you for more. Hmm. Only get over you know. Na ya tenzi ndaba angamu nchini echa wandi ikiwa. Bali tebebi kakokono na abagamba mwebike. Kakati, yeleve so kanti obu wangwa. Obuwa, manyo alwe bintu bietu ize, uruwa society. Nga chukukuma bukumi. Kaneva yuneche muiga, nga we mulino chitu warange mpisa ya mwokugeza. Goroza, abazongo bafu kamira. Aha. Nedda. Mukamira mukusaba, mukusinza. Ah, musadi, mchea ranga afuka mirira omuami. Ah, hicho techiri. Kati singa paul abadha wandi kila baganda. Yandi abadha ba kuti rempisa. Yandi abadha ba gambati. Mufuka mirenga. Kati tulozenti, cha yoke denti na mufuka mirenga na abazungu na bichi gende chwa kuat. Ah, ah. Kati ndoa zangu we tu weiri kusonge. Nti, ebi mu. Mubaibu mulimu ebimonga biyali universal. 
Neba ye bimonga biali kawicho. Mm. Eh. Kati chitegeza chine choku vika kumvidi fete chitu kwa atako. Wauli roku vika kwa vika. Wauli roku vika tambla. Techidi na nyowe chitu kwa atira techidi na nyowe chitu kwa sezi. Techigenda kuja kwa moyo. Mm. Techigenda kuongera moyo. Eh, wow. Mm. Amina. Amina. So nantu memori ni doze chivuzo. Kusuba chize mbulu njintebimu. Biali biabu wanga. Reste mwana wa Yesu agamba praise God msumba kasozi tukwagala nnyo dia Anna. bolo te chiroto buli musumba na chivunula mu ngeri ndala okolotia chokola ofuna yo mugoba wesiga kubanga na basawo baba banji wetugenda ulalenga funa tuina malaria mm. etugenda kubasawa abenja uru binds of prescribing ebikabye dagale byenja uru Yes. E, kati ya chizibu Kwe kugama antika Mireko wana chitundu Mireko ne wano Mireko ne wano Mireko ne wano Goba we tabula Oba Waluwe njogere gama anti Too many cooks spoil the soup Aba fumbi ya manji Bule mwa ine fumbe iye Kati bini nzo kutabula tabula mm. So Ambuze zanko rente So sikiva kuchi e, Kati a, nandi gami Abeda fuma... nechi doto chimu e. Na chibuza aba suba Bule omuna e. muangeli e. Kati chuchaba kendeza Eitha abuzengwa moyo mtu kufu Obafu na yo musumbo mungu wana abuza Abirenga nojo Musumba zinangi ingazi mm. Rama njaga lampulide mm. Musumba kasozi changambie Ne musumba denis chana ngamba mm. Kuchiroto changi mm. Echonga chizivo kendeza e, Katibu na ule tila musumba denis Chiroto chengato e. Tinarose ngato ya yesu Ajaku za kubaibu Ajaku gamba Kari ibi ngato yu katibu kwa tila kowa Bigenda kugasachi. Soko tereze nse ungenu. Ajakus. Nyinga chagamba si chichamu. Mm -hmm. Ni umu laini ye. Nga wana gobele la chagamba. Wali. Oboja kutuka na yu kuchewa wado ya gali. Yeah. Katu wana gato ono. No gata noli. No gata noli. No gata noli. No. Na ulida beji ni bachifunu debata. Beji ni bachifunu debata. Oboge na kutomera. Katu okwe wala kavu yako. Mm -hmm. Funako uonyuele la. Katete. E, e wamwe we muafu mbange mere. Nene iba we wafu mbanga. Nedda. Nemwe temu akula. Tu akula. Balite ba akula. Ba akula. Eh, atao. E, Yatenge nyinyo nyole sinze. Eh. Funayo uoli ya wamu. Funayo uoli ya wamu. Otelele. Ojakula. Ne, ojakula. Tedi busima agamba. What does it mean when you dream when pregnant and yet you're not seeing anyone? Alota, I know rubuto. Na ya atene muendo. Nebu achilo uoza keno mbuli uo. Taina yo ya damu. Si yako. Kangambe wenti. Changeri bili. Hmm. Chima chitegeza inache yeti se. Singa, singa te ye gomba. Manyu waluwe bintu vyo bango. Laba nyabe mbuto. Unawe na wera bango liru buto. Hey. Kate biloto vya nzi vunula. Sibi ya vya experience za avu lijo. Hey. Na yendi kubiloto nga dala spiritually. Chizi na inga china che chitegeza. Kate chivude mkubanti. Wabade kone antu wa mduwa hey. lila liru buto. Uh -huh. Walogo baku kubide bananga habane. No gundi hey. afolo lubuto. Gundi na afolo lubuto. Gundi na afolo nga endoza ye jude muba ambuto bobo e, liyao nawe nga wera bango fumbi dua e, liyao, nawe nga wera e, bango lifu noru buto no, noru kwata na kumoti noru kwata na kono gane uchi, uchi uza mbuli waka na kange kari wakati ya bambi mm. wabandi kawali nyachi au changonyo kufuna rubuto lwa rubuto chiroto cha rubuto chiba chiroto e, neka tisinga e, chiroto chiba de spiricho chani tegeze mtu ebi e, nja gara abuzo moyo mtu kufu mm. number one ya ndi eti korubuto luobubi Oba, urubuto urubu nji. Na wali wacho ufumba, echi, echi, cheweti si. Sawa yona ugenda e. chizara. Ugenda chizara. Eitha anga chibi, e. oba anga chiru nji. Obo olivu waka kasamba tuko kabantu. Obo olivu waka kajiko na tabula mbantu. Obo olivu dobo mkanyabala. Obo oliza arubu lua at any time. Katingo ina chisa zamu. Chechu chagamba, gundi ya bitu zaalide. E, gundi ya bitu zaalide. E, bebo. Ndi ya vitu za alide. Oba, ngo ina yu business idea. Jona Zara, owabu weleza. Urubuto urubu weleza. Ngo limuwa kuhitibwa. Nga niwa kuhitibwa kote kuna vayo. Nga kugenda kutuke chisaida kuzalibwe. Luwache si mwa ulidemu. Si ulidemu runje environment ya bademu chilo otoche. Eee. Eee. Adina nge silimu mwoyo nyo. Nti nzuna wano. Katichi ya rose nko nekitinze yo. Uruganda siko nekitinze yo. Hii msumbate, echorubuto ongachi nyuma. 
kati oba tugende ko alukula mu atya welubalubi oba alulisa ata Yahawe <laughs> Nino kwe na zake mpitambi. Nino kwe jake bonda. Sigenda gobele rebyo. Mm. Hachu sazamu. Nina gobele kube yobu tukirifu. Mikono jange jina uwele za mkama. Kamu waka angekana yogira matendo no kubu ulire njiri. Nisala toji mazi. Obo jimazi. Amina, amina. Wude wude yotu jaku ata yobi vili vyo ka. Uh, abuza, my question is, must everyone be baptized? Ono, marry, amlexed. Ye, buli muntu ateke duwa kubati zibwa yokana sura ya kusatu nyiru wakutana mm. msomera yokana joni sura ya kusatu urinyo wakutana egambi etia sura satu urinyiru wakutana egambi jesus answered most assuredly i say to you unless one is born of water and a spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Ulalo simu wa delu liye limo mako kumina mkaga. Kumina tanu na kumina mkaga. Mugende mbo ulire njiri yeriye bitonde vyo na akiriza na abatiziwa alilo koka. Kato yaba agama ntikiriza echidako batiziwa. Guracho ogamba nzikiriza. Na yuko batiziwa. Sija batiziwa. So chivangamba a must. Take a doku batiziwa. Leo walio na haba online, haba komyeo, mm. bagenzi babatiza. Mm. Bagambi ba nefze tetu dayonga temutu batiza. Mm. Bagenzi babatiza lero. So, banange, ofubo ukula banti. Echisubo uze, chisemba yo, ni wanku bade walue vya abalala. Yonga na yonga bi, bi meka. Tukomeku like 35 or 36. Kari. Abu, <coughs> chomo hendo stela agamba, pasta, is it really too hard? It's really too hard for me to forget what has annoyed me? What should I do? Ye chintu wechimu nyiza, alwa woku chela vila, akoze atia. Nkola gana ene umo yomu tukufujaba yonge lako. Kubanga chiba itakusonyowa, chirungo cha guru. Mm. Kakati atu yamba kukusonyowa, ilayo ya kwa atagana nila inene yobu wakaba kabu wakatonda. Wow. E. Kati waliwe bintu mbio tasobola kutamu magezi kafi. Wakujia kongo mwe wa muka matu. Ya ambieko. Nga tasobola. Nga buochilo woza ako guwenti usonyiwe. Mm. Mm. Wala vila dalanga techisoboko. E. Kati mungeri yeyo voi na kuita. Kwe yongera. Nkola gana na umo yomu tukufu. Mm. Kuyingi lejako mokube ilamu. Ujako la wangebimu. Vitalibi abu wakato. Na vita andiko kugenda. Bivao. Ya msumba wali wa mtu wako nyiza. Mm. No gamba mukama. Mm. Nze njagala muku kwa saa. Mm. Gobo muko lako. Aomba so nye. Mtu wabu mga ma muko lekochi. Nga njagala ya ba musasura. Mkusa, mkusa bride moru yi. Kwa nga uliwa lua yesu wachi lidolu balu tukufu. Nenga uliwa lidi ya wani. Kwa chiga manti mukama. Mtu ono. Naamu akoro burunji. Akoro vya muko la burunji. Omukumi ramanda kumutwe. Ngo burunji bu akora. Abu gumi kiriza na inga mani na ena ange mukumi ramanda kuchi. Eh, hey. hey. inga kolo burunji, buna abu kolo burunji, uliya kumrua manda kumutwe. Na weto ba wakatonda. Musumba, obula musumba guali mubula mu chidala dala. Obula mu obo kuniiga. Ndi mubula mu obo kufuba na ange vanyiza nenuana nempli ranga chigani nensukira ni yini malame nento wolo koka. Nento ulo koke. Nyiri li zino zima la nizida kastawe gula u. Neno mtuwe ya nyiza. Nempli langa zifudeko. Nenga tachisobo kaka mwoko vile simu. Nenga toku ba. Toku ba. Chintu choku nyiza wa naya. Haba tu nyiza wa nemu. Lekelo tu nyiza. Haa. Chosicha wa. Chosicha baibo. E. Chosicha baibo. 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 Ch Elevi nyeza biyo tuvirinde. Katuwe gemebwe gemi. 
Bia vinyiza, tugaina kubana vyo eva. Kati ona ayongere kwa kukula gana ye no moyo mtu kufu. Ya jumu ya amba, mkasera kakazito. Kukusunyi wa omoyo mtu kufu ya atu ya amba. Waru waleve soka, no manyanti mtu wota sonyi wa, nawe chita wali mguru tagenda kusonyi. Kusonyi wa. Echi obochi manji, elevo ya noreje soka. Kati wakute kecho mkula. Elia mtu uri ya buza mune, debate ya liye rinti, chate kanti uli ya sonyi wa yera vila. Hey, what must so coach or get it? Oh, no, Gambia, Rawo, Queda, Vida, Ringa, Chat, take up your son, you are here, Vida. Answer, ye, at any nedda. Bofun and Kovu, Kukuguru, Eva, Kokurususu. A body they think of a body they think of a cigar, or Katu, or Dano Chitunura, or Soboro Kujukira Chayakora. Now you will be going of way. Over to Chabu, Soboro Kujukido Muchako Koranenga. This time, Mocho Gurira Koku sign. You think of a way of Fukarusu, part of the skin. Mti nebo obo yise mu mwe bya kokola obato cha ulira bulumi na bubalagaze buli na yeri enko fo eziruma ezisiwa kati yeyo manya ngankovu na yenge echa kusiwa eri enko fo eruma eri enko fo esiwa kati che che chintu ngo mtu amusonywa nenga mrochi jukira chikuluma ulira ozirika ate Mani walu watu gamba mtu watu gamba mbu abamu mwesoni wa mwesoni ite musoni wa ah chisa chegole tia gamba ba na angi narota musumba Denisi ngangua tide ababi choka na yenga hayogera luswairi achunanga sisi tegede sakari ya nzaga mbu I always dream when I'm cleaning a church and the preacher comes before finishing. Kakati ya cha msumba deni sayo gino uluswa hili wechiba angachari mudala obubaka. Mm. Uru gando ya tekeyo nyebilo uzo kukuigiriza kwa msumba deni. E, kubanga ya liyamu kwa tida ababi. Kati ababi, jiba mioyo, maanyi gabubi, chechi bobude, chechi kutuwa lako mkisa, chechi kora kutia. Kati singa, ayonge rogobele rokusome sa kwa msumba deni. Mwandi ba mwuru limi, Lwajo kutege ilaye. Ate mwe vyabiana igafu ni mwa ideas. Izi gendo mwa anguze vyandi badebi mwle mesa. Kani unandi mwa dema geza gobelele nyo nyo. Bababa damu uli dalumoru naku. Watadeye njiri ya jinonye. Ah, Sisobula kuongira ko. Atona agami enti alota nyo. Badina ya mtu tute mbido oto kati. Alota nyo nga ayonje kanisa na ye omubuli za agendo kujanga tana maliliza kuyonja kanisa eno kati echizibuchiri kudire nti katonda aine bintu byabaya galo ya kole mu budde na ye adire yinga tenga byeta agisa mu bwaka baka mm. eh singa katugambe ndeta cha kula bilako wade chechinzi judde kati tuzimbe nga omuntu Omanyinti echifotweta gatu chikole kwa mangu. Mm. Katingo mutigo, oino gute ma, tuzimbe mangu. Yes. Ama antu batule wa ansaba, antu wakatonda na njiri ya gulirwe. Nikuwa ino kole yichu, no gamba, nja chikola, nga hoise mieze na. Mm. Obo chikoze, na yu obo wa olileti. E, Kati omu oru gando yu, na haba lana wafana na wabatu. Wali wachi omu oyu guo kukere wa. Na dela mubi intu yu obo wakatonda. Mm. Atachi wa chigenda kwa fikiti ngo kuyitibwa. Na hebira bu. Hebiri mundaye. Yes. E, kata inoko. E, chigamba bu chivulide. Toli inda luancha. Gendo chikoli. Kwe wawo. E, Kwe bintu bichu uka. Bichu uka. Mm -hmm. Sharoti. Na muanje yari kwa Facebook. Agamba. When you dream. One of your pastors kneeling. On your knees. When you are at church. What is it? Does it mean? And when you dream the person you was praying for to live your life and you see him in your dream you minister with him and help each other in ministry what does it mean mm -hmm. umuwele zanga afuka mende kubigere bie wa kubigere bie wa bia katugambe bia sharuti anto kwa wanga kebu urota umuwele za uba pasta agambi edana umuwele zo yali pasta boni when you dream one of your pasta kneeling on your knees when you are at church 
Sharoti. Tetu chitege dobo mweleza. Afuka mide kuma vivigo. Tetu chitege de. Bogama nti afuka mide on your knees. Chiba chitegeza. Agala mide on afuka mide ko. I really always dream when men want to use me, but never. And I always dream fighting my mom always. Ono, sakali liyans. Na yewa achiroto. Na yewa achiroto mwa. Alota nyonga wa sajja baga lo muko zesa. Na yewa bata chukiriza. Ila alota nyonga alwana ni mama we. Katonda amura gobu kumi wa mutadeko. Na ye agetinge conscious amanye nti singa agayala ibirote ibyo biri mu kumuyiga hey. katike kasera agoloko ka kubemyo yejo eh mm. e, changu nyo denzo kuyingirawo ne mukozesa kiva bo vimu biroto bagamba nchiva mu biroto ne kijja mu reality ulina janga alinga akuraga mukwano gwe gonoroza olugendo luna akola kumbe agenda kukusanyao Kati echa mama echo, mm. ayongero kusaba, nkora gana yene mama, esoburo kubeni enamu. Kumanga sicha abu ntubula mu, umuano ukuru wana ne mama. Sicha abu ntubula mu. Echa chisabile chitelele. Echi semba yo, mm. chechi necha na mubiru tedi, mm. gamba praise God, pastor maje. Ah, uyo yebu watu waku ise. Chibuzo chage. Mvobo kawa vikita. <laughs> the Bible tells us to tear our hearts, not our garments. Mm. Katibanu, Ababu ulida kule these trousers mbune jimu is unrighteousness. Choka women put on coats ezo tebazo geru wako. Wako miawe. Obaba dena comment. Obachi wada chivu uzo. Yagambi my question is the Bible tells us to tear our hearts not garments. Katiba na ababu ulida kule these trousers mbune jimu is unrighteousness. Choka women put on court says it is ogeru hako. Gamba vada gama nti abachala wa luachi wa ambala ama koti. Nti luachi toge la kubi ambala evi omunda. Evi mm. oku ungurunga. Ate baibe gamba mitima tuyuze mitima. Ate newe tuba tuzo kuge la kumpale za abachala. Ama koti tuga. Ama koti geba ambala. Tuga wage la kwa atenga na goga abasajja. Gamba oyo molekana gamba chigambo koti. Gacha abasajja kusinzi la kuye. Ola vote. Mani ya gale chibuzo nchitegele bulonji. So mwe chida mwe bulonji. Bwati ondo boza wagamu. Otherwise, si chitegele bulonji. Nange si chitegele bulonji. Kati yao. Na ye. Mba si chitegele. Mba anja kwa gala nsoke nchitegele. So encha mnange na mwiru nesharoti. Mujia kutudira mwe bivuzevyo. Musumba wali. So musumba tuwa galo kwebaza. Elaka ansabe. Oberengo umba umba. Otusabile sala. Ate tugaleo. Mikuwa na baga lwa, mwebali nyo kubanga mtu lindirida. Makuluwa lero service haka unge zijeri, uja kuwela ku online. Mwabali kuredi yobu mba mchaliko, units za fetu, chali yobu gatherings. Katika tusabe, tuwe teke teke, mkama jetu kola mulu unji. Uli mulu unji katundo mtu kufu. Uo mkisabali mayuganda, tukwega hili de, utuwe no mkisabali uweru. Tuwa mkisamu maka, tuwa mkisango uwele zobwa inamani. Mkawefuono watu zimbe Eransa vyo yukirene miti majafi Tutu ganya kakanyala Abantu nga baina chiba kwa sizayo Nga vete kateko kujio kuzimba Sabiyo wa umu kisa Tuyambe mkama Abantu wakole no kusinga ibalo oza Chitu ukirileko chidiye chari kumulembe kwa Musa Nga bale itemiko za sebwa Aba kunganya ni baba gama Ntia a Aba imulekera obimara Likeno bilion ye mu Mu 1.3 bilion Bili yone mwebu kademi satu. Lekazi je ayi mkama uzikabili de zikweyo. Ate langa chino siche chisose. Uzengo tukolele bintu bienji. Bote buwa tukolele takali ya fe. Ila bote buwa jotu zimba ayi mkama. Kale sabo mkisa eri haba anabo. Sabo mkisa eri haba kozi. Haba taina mirimu bafune mirimu. Haba antubo lekaba zimbe kapaste. Webu echitibu wachona. Tukugurumiza guwa kole bikuru. Tusabiro musumba wa fe. Joseph Rubwa Maserumaga, mwa manyo kuhimilida. Timu yaba sumba, naba chala babi, naba wele zabo na, tusabiyo tubikeko. Ida nsabira buli memba yena, wa wafamire yomu ntuomunda. Naba abaga robu wele zabo no. 
Aba mtebe wande sangakoya dena kuchachi. Ni inga bali yeyo. Baga fimutu sumbire no. Aba mtu wabu bawo mkisa. Eda bajanjabe no obura mbwabu. Mukama. Nisabira na aba batu agara. Ngadala batu agara kumitima. Wa mtu wabu. Watu gata na abu. Tusabi oba nyueze. Bawanguze. Mkristo yesu omramu. Amen. Amen. Echisa. Chamu kama wafa yesu kristo. No kwa agara kwa ai katonda. Mkusange chimu no moyo mtu kufu. Bibere na fefe na, neri ya boruganda wana, emire mbeji takuwao, amen. Kama, abawamu kisa.